Hey everybody, welcome back to the MurfreeSport.com show. Uh, I'm John I. Carey, your host. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in as always. And today we have two fantastic guests. Thank you all for coming in. Miss Susan and uh, Michelle. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. See, I almost slipped and said Melissa. I apologize. <laughs> I know you, Michelle. Thank you. But anyways, thank you all for coming in. We appreciate it and yes. taking time out of your day. So I know you're very, very busy. Miss Serial Entrepreneur here. I don't right. know. Right. What? <laughs> That's a good title. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. We, you know, we should probably have a better a list of things you don't do. Okay. That might be a shorter <laughs> list. So, But, uh, no, we know you, you own multiple businesses. You do a lot in the community. You know, really appreciate you coming on and just all around good people over here. So Thank you. But, uh, no, so thank you. So, so, what, so you've got, for those that don't know, you have, you, know, you just tell. Tell us, how's that? You've got multiple stuff. I'll let you go for it. Oh, I'm a hairdresser mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Okay, so that's first. <laughs> first. Okay, got it. And uh, so I own the salon, the mm -hmm. Color Lounge. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. I own the salon, Curl Theory. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a national educator for Cut It Kinky, a curl company. I didn't see that's one I didn't know. Uh, okay. I own the I Love Juice Bar, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. which I will do spoiler alert. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll be needing you for this soon. Sure. Uh, Juice Bar has just been bought out. Whoa. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. News. All right. Uh, cool. All right. We will be going to Main Squeeze. Okay. So it's, uh, it hasn't, <clears throat> it's kind of been publicly announced, mm -hmm. but um, so our juicing methods will be changing, which is to the best. We'll okay. We'll be going code press. Okay. Gotcha. And we will be having hot vegan breakfast. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So we'll be opening from 7 to 6 to 7 p.m. at night. So okay. the hours are going to change. Okay. Um, and then open seven days a week. So we got a lot of new exciting Dang. things okay. coming. Okay. Are you moving locations or stay there? No, we're going to stay at the Gateway Village. Okay. But probably two to three more uh, main squeezes will be coming to Marfis Bro. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah, I that wow. In, okay. In the Smyrna area as well. Really? Um, busy, busy. And Holy then moment. I, uh, a lot of people <coughs> don't know, but I uh, uh, have my hand in the Paul Mitchell School. No way. Yeah, so I. <laughs> that's good. No, I've been over there. We've worked with them before. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Okay, I didn't so know that. that. Okay. That was my first life. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I actually brought the school here. I was a director. I'm no a teacher. Way. Yeah, so I'm, I'm all over the place. All right. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I've been there before and, and worked. With, we did some stuff with some of the students. Oh, cool. So, yeah, cool, I remember, cool. that was really cool. Oh, yeah. very cool. Okay, because yeah, so. that's a big deal. So. Yeah, I'm all yeah. over the place. So, yeah. <laughs> So that's what's like, what do you want to talk about? I know, right? Today? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, I want to get back to that juice bar okay. thing here in yes. a little bit, but uh um but Miss Michelle, how about you? Well, I manage it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got I it. forgot we have a restaurant so, too. Oh yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> Butterfly Garden, uh yeah, brunch and events, yeah. and which is located in, in Lennox Village. Okay. In Butterfly Nashville. Garden. Butterfly Garden brunch. brunch and events. Very so cool. you can do brunch. And, or you can rent it out for your yeah. event. So I'm also a licensed um, hairstylist as well. Very cool. So okay. I am Susan's assistant and I do assist so we got her. Right, right hand, left yeah. hand. Is that what yes, it is? Okay, got yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I do assist her in everything. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's been a journey. I've learned a lot this time around. Yeah. This is like my third time with her. Oh, wow. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so what ha are you at home bored and you're like, I'm going to start this? You hey, know, Michelle, let's do this. Like, how's that work? <laughs> when you were saying a serial entrepreneur, I that really resonated with me. Oh, yeah? Because I, I am a creator. Oh, there you go. You're the and idea person. Yeah. I'm an idea. Like, I love to take nothing, and I love mm -hmm. the challenge, can I grow yeah. it? And this one helps you manage it all. Yeah, keep it, helps it in, me keep it in check. Yeah, hollering and screaming yeah. and crying. <laughs> So that's why you work so well together. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. I got yeah. you. I'll just be like, okay, yeah. <laughs> what you need me to do? Yeah. You know? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, when, when did when did you start that? I didn't know you had that. Um, the Butterfly Garden and Event Center, it's probably been open in about five months. So just okay, recently. Okay, so pretty new. Okay. Yeah, but it, it was a year in yeah. the making yes. before the wow. door was open. Yeah. No kidding. Oof. Okay. Restaurant business. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh God! I, kudos <laughs> to you on that. I worked in restaurants all through college. I was like, I could never do this again. That's it's, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a well, level. people don't realize <laughs> the the paperwork. Oh really? And all the laws and stuff you oh, have to. Oh yeah, I bet. Compliant. Yeah. Yeah, with all food. With so the, that's why it took pretty much a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really? Yeah. Dang. 
Okay, so you're in Lenox Village. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have to come down and visit you. Oh, say yeah, hi. for sure. Yeah, to, yeah. Yeah. Maybe brunch. take the camera crew down yes. there. And say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. Okay, very cool. Okay. So how many is that now? Five, I think, things? That yeah. You uh, five yeah, five or five. I don't know. I lost yeah. count. So. <laughs> <laughs> is there any more hidden ones you got out there? <laughs> no, no, no. That's all for now. Wait, wait. Is there any ideas? Yeah, we're we're actually uh, working on a uh, a business. I literally left that meeting coming here. No way. So we <laughs> we uh, from education side. If, yeah. if you're a school, mm-hmm. uh, you're required by the government to have placement. Okay. And um, people completion rates. Mm-hmm. And so a company we're forming now is actually for any school, uh, beauty industry, cosmetology, okay. yeah. or barber school. Once a student graduates, it's the school's responsibility to make sure they pass their test okay. and then get a job. Got it. And so there's a big gap. Uh, okay. And so we are working on the company to help the student pass that test uh-huh. and to do placement um, in the industry okay. of cosmetology, yeah. aesthetics, and barbers. Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah. So cosmetology and restaurants they seem to be the, the theme here. So <laughs> yeah. Have you always had a passion for those? Or no. Like? The only reason why I started dealing with the food side mm-hmm. is, of course, poor covid because um, oh, everything I had was yeah. in the beauty industry. Okay. And COVID showed me that it shut every right. stream of income I had down. No way. So I need to Ooh. diversify. Okay. And so these opportunities popped up. So yeah. I was like, I need to you know, have my feet outside yeah. of hair. Okay. Because I've cool. been a licensed cosmetologist for 35 years. Wow. 33, 33 or 35. You're not even that old. How's that yeah, possible? Yeah, Jeez. yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> That's not a fair. Jeez. Okay. So you know, my passion is that. Yeah, that yeah. I've just taken it to the extreme of wow. being on the school side. No, oh, that's cool. okay. So you, okay, well, take it back. So cosmetology, uh, restaurants, and food, and education seem yes. to be the passions here. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. I got gotcha. you. So, so where where did uh, where did okay? So we got COVID with the food and everything. So yes. where did everything stem from from the cosmetology side? Oh, great point. I, uh, this is weird, but I used to be uh, a certified MIG and TIG welder. So I can still <laughs> weld. I know. <laughs> You're learning all kind of stuff today, aren't you? I know. As cute as I can, am. Can we come by the yeah. salon one time and just bust out a TIG welder I, and be like, hey. I, if you need me to strike up an arc, I can. No way. So I welded in a factory for like nine years. Really? Mm-hmm. That's and very impressive. It's, it's you know, hard work. That's it, yeah. Sweating, and I was there arcing and yeah. with lipstick on, sweating, and I just, I was around people, mm-hmm. uh, elderly people, older yeah. than me, that were complaining yeah. about, like, I would have, I should have, I could have. Uh, and I heard them, yep. and I was like, I do not want to be sitting here 20 years from now Yep. Saying the same thing. And Is I was that like, loud I gotta, and clear? I okay. got to do something. Yeah. And that's when I got into the beauty industry. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Did you start on the... Do you, you have to excuse me. I don't know much about it. So yeah. did you start on the ground level? Had to go through school? Yeah, and so I, I uh, worked... Uh, full-time welding yeah. seven days a week okay. and commuted two hours to school every day. So Jeez. I'm a hustler. <laughs> My goodness gracious. And so I went okay. to school and worked at the same time. And yeah. as soon as I graduated from school, I still continued to work full-time and do hair because of fear. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I was just, you know, when you work in a factory job, yep. you have insurance benefits and a yep, paycheck. Yep. And yeah. so I had to, someone prophesied it over my life. Yeah. Really? And told me to leave my job that God had me. And uh, three days later, I throwing like up. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Not having faith. I just took the leap and yeah. I have not looked back. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Dang. Okay. Yeah. That gave me goosebumps. <laughs> right there, thinking about that. Yes. Dang. So that, okay. So you were a welder. Wow. That's, yes, I was a welder. Yeah, that, that is a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we worked with a couple companies in the past. That's some services they offered, but that was very, um, Hard profession. I don't know the word I'm yes, looking for. It like yes. defines somebody that's good at it. You know, was yes, and they they mm-hmm. pay them good, pay them really well. Yes. They're good welders. So, but um, but Miss Michelle, if you don't mind, I would switch a little yeah. bit on you. <laughs> oh no, we were getting that. I'm coming to you next. So, no, but uh, but how about you? Where's your your background? How did everything start for um, you? Um, well, for me, I I went to cosmetology school. And, you know, people laugh at me, but I'm serious about this. Yeah. I wanted to be Dolly Parton's personal stylist. 
And let's roll with that. Yeah. That's gold so, right there. Because I loved her. I still do. Yeah. And so when I saw that was not going to happen, <laughs> you know, I, I stuck it out. Yeah. Um, I was actually getting ready to start working on a cruise ship. And oh then, you know, found out I was getting ready to be a mom. So okay, it's like, okay. we got to reroute this thing, I got you, yeah, you know. Right, yeah. And so my case, being a single mom, you know, I had to, I worked in the hair industry as well as full-time job yeah. because of insurance and stuff like yep, that. I get it. And then it was like, life has to be better than this. Yeah. So I started going to massage therapy school. And nice. while in massage therapy school is how I met. Uh, Susan, someone okay. was like, I was looking for something else. Yeah. And they was like, hey, I know a stylist. She's in Shelbyville. Yeah. She needs an assistant. And I was like, I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. But hey, I'll be willing yeah, yeah. to do that. And this was like, what, see, probably the early 2000s. Okay, okay. And oh, she was creating <laughs> back then. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So we were in this house. The gears were going already. Yeah, I guess. Here's how creative she is. We was uh, in a house. Okay. We had the salon on the front end, mm -hmm. barber shop on one side, and there was a boutique in the back. Nice. Okay. Okay. Get all the clothes. Who does Get that? all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> then we went from the house to like a 5,000 square foot building. Dang. Okay. That nice. had stylists. We had uh, manicurists. We had a boutique. We had tanning beds. Yeah. Spa, barber shop. Dang. Whatever we had it. Esthetician. Yeah. We and, had it all. And the welding stuff was in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that and would be so cool if I ever saw that. Right. I'm like, oh my God. Exactly. So I've tried other things since then. Yeah. Um, but but coming back around, it was it was just God doing yeah. it because I was working in the VA call center mm -hmm. last year. Okay. And was just stopping by to see how her and another young lady was doing yeah. and then she was like what are you doing <laughs> and i was like girl i don't know what i'm doing in my life right now <laughs> you know like i and, know what you're doing yeah right she here. was like i need you and i was like well you know and again like she was saying that security you know you have yeah. the the paycheck you have the insurance and mm -hmm. i was newly married so okay. it was like i don't know if i can make a transition right yeah, now yeah. but i knew i had to get out for my mental state. And okay. so we talked about it. I talked to my husband yeah. about it. And March the 15th, she was like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, taking my equipment back. Well, when you get off the interstate, stop by. There you go. <laughs> nice. Don't and I time. walked through the door, and she was like, your first assignment is getting my equipment from China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So That's from March the second to, to walk in the door, go. All so right. from March to June, not only was I assisting her with clientele and yeah, yeah. getting everybody beautified, but I worked on getting those machines here. In June, I got them here. That's awesome. Okay. Like cool. I said, you learn a lot. Right. Her creativity. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I just got to ask, because I've only been on one cruise in my life. Did you actually get a chance to do that? Or I you, didn't. Okay, gotcha. Because of the fact okay, that I gotcha. was pregnant. I gotcha. It was like, no, we don't want to yeah. take that chance. Yeah. You know, so. Is that is that one of those jobs that's like... Um, extensive background checks and sort of thing. I always wondered about yeah, that because there's... Been. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. They did. And that was the reason why I had to go for the fiscal because my background okay, yeah, check yeah. had uh -huh. come back. Everything was good. Yep, yep, and yep. I was at the last phase. Yeah. And then it yeah. was like... Congratulations, yeah. you're pregnant. I was like, ah. I got you. I was like, oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah. Well, it was, I was just curious because I've been on one cruise in my mm -hmm. life, and I just, I thought it was really cool with everybody on the ship that was from all over the world. Yeah. And there were so many, so many different people I talked to, and I learned about their cultures and stuff and the food and everything. It was really cool. So, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know how that, all that worked on cruise ships, but. That's a great anyway. question. It was, yeah. it was pretty neat, though. So, you ever been on a cruise? No. I'm <gasps> scary. I'm scary. No? No cruise? Okay. I've, Feet on land. Feet on land. <laughs> you know, I will say I was a little kind of nervous about that when I went on mine, but the ship is so big. D did Thank you ever you. go on one? I didn't get okay. to make it. I got gotcha. you. No. Yeah. The, um, it, so it was, you forget. You, you do. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's just a floating city pretty much. Yeah. I mean, and I was lucky. We had great weather the mm -hmm. all seven days of the cruise. So there was like no rain, no clouds, no nothing. Smooth seas and everything. But you, yeah, you forget you're on a boat mm -hmm. for the most part. But Oh, I'll sing. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you're like, nah. It's on my list. But. It's on your list? I got you. <laughs> cool, okay. So um, if you don't mind, I want to jump back to the juice bar yeah, part real absolutely. quick. Okay, so so it's switching over. Yes, it's switching over. What was the name? 
Main Squeeze. Main Squeeze. They're out of um, New Orleans is okay. their base. Gotcha. So it's already a franchise. Okay, gotcha. Um, and so they acquired all the juice bars. Okay. And nice. I'm not sure how many stores are converting over. Okay. But technically, we've already started the okay. process. Okay, gotcha. Uh, my sign will be the last thing to yeah. come up visibly, visibly yeah. to yeah. let everybody know that okay. it's changed. Well, I'm convinced anything food related from New Orleans is fantastic. Yes, it's so, fantastic. Been there once, and oh my god, I ate my body weight in shrimp. Yes. It was. <laughs> you ever been to New Orleans? Oh yeah, we used to go every year for a festival. Oh, did you? So yeah, I love it. Oh, I bet love, that was love, awesome. Love, love, love yeah, it. You ever been? I have. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Blast. It was a little busy for me, but was I it? had fun. Yeah. Yeah. We. Well, I'm trying to remember. We went. Uh, well, we went once for about like a long weekend type thing, mm-hmm. and it was so much fun. Yes. But uh, we, we made the unfortunate timing of, uh, you know, who Conor McGregor, the UFC fighter, mm-hmm. when he was like real big in his prime, and he was having some big fight down oh, yeah. there. And oh my God, all the people in the streets were coming with kilts coming at you know, and all this. Yeah. And, oh, it was that, probably fun to see them. It was fun, but walking through that crowd, and yeah. it was like, it was intense. yeah, I was like, okie dokie. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> everybody just grab somebody and hold on. You know, right, here we go. Right. So, but uh, anyways, okay, cool. Well, that should be awesome. So yes. are you going to keep any of the same stuff from, from um, previously? They or? are taking the top sellers from okay. Juice Bar and merging it. Okay. Uh, but their recipes are completely different. Are they? And the uh, flavor profiles. So uh-huh. it's, it's going to be a very good change okay. for us. Gotcha. Um, and uh, Murphy's Brawl doesn't have like a facility that's open Seven days a week yeah. from seven to six to get mm. fresh uh, cold pressed juices. Gotcha. Okay. So it's going to be something yeah. completely different. Are you keeping the orange drink? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. The uh, okay. Sunny the G. Sunny yeah. G. <laughs> okay. I, I remember because when I first tried those, they, uh, they got the little samples and they're like, now some of these you might like, some of them you may not, you know, different palettes. And I'll just be honest, the green one, I was like, oh my God. God, like <laughs> it's like a tree and a, yes. for me. Yes. But Leafy then the orange greens. one, I was like, oh no, this yes. I could do. And yes. so the leafy is basically like you're drinking a salad. So okay, it's yeah, the yeah. most. Uh, I can see caloric. that. The, the calories are like less than sixty for the whole. Really? Yes. So if you're trying to That's detox, the, yeah. cleanse, yeah. Be, yeah, it's just straight. It's yeah. nothing sweet in it. So you're drinking yeah. a salad. Well, I know the ladies up front love the green ones. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's usually in the fridge in here. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, cool. Well, that's, and then, is there any new ones that you're excited about you want to uh, throw out there? I can't say the names Oh, yet. okay, okay. Uh, well, because when I, I haven't learned them. Oh, God. <laughs> Like literally, this is it's a lot. Put. It's a lot. So we, we like, are I just still don't keeping all the um, smoothie bowls, which they're going to okay, be yes. even more enhanced. Yeah, those are real popular. Yeah, they're right very now. popular. Love those. Um, yeah. But the juices, what's going to be cool about it? Mm-hmm. You'll be able to walk in. We'll have self serve kiosks. Oh, cool. So um, the neat. grab and go is going to be bigger. So you can literally walk in, get yep. your juice, self check yourself out, and then leave. Okay. Um, but we can custom make any juice nice we can custom okay. make any smoothie we can custom make any uh acai bowl or smoothie bowl yep and then we can custom make any food so if you have okay. allergies yeah. or anything you're allergic to or food preferences we even now as a juice bar we can yeah. we offer that nice. a lot of people don't know okay gotcha mm-hmm. well cool i'll have to come check that out yeah. all right that's awesome we'll do we'll Take some. Are you redoing the store? Yeah, everything's okay. going to everything from top to bottom is going to be completely changed. Okay. Well, let me know what it is. We can come and take some oh, pictures yeah, and yeah. do some that stuff. Would be so that'd be, we'll that'd be cool to show that. Guys. Oh, yeah. thank you. Cool. That'd be great. Okay. Well, got juice part on. Let's move over to the salon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. it, you have multiple. Or mm-hmm. two, how does it say them again? Um, Curl Theory and yeah. the Color Lounge. Uh, I used to own the Color Parlor Lounge. Salon. We just sewed it. Oh, wow. So I'm trying okay. to get my life, I'm narrowing <laughs> my circle down. Okay, um, okay. So we just recently um, sew the Parlor Salon. Okay. So, But they're still our sister salon. So yeah, yeah. we still uh, network with them. But oh. our focus now um, at the salon is uh, natural hair. Okay. And what a lot of people don't realize is more than 90% of humans have textured hair. I don't have much hair left. Do I have any but kind you of texture? Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, right. <laughs> anything that's outside of the 
a naturally straight category, okay. then you're considered having some texture. Okay. okay. And so most people are not born with hair that is sticks straight out of their Okay, head. gotcha. And so yeah. that's why our salon is kind of beneficial to mm-hmm. people. And people, a lot of people don't know we even exist. Okay. So what we specialize in is it doesn't matter actually what your texture is, okay. what your nationality yeah, yeah. is. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, we can handle your hair. Yeah. And so the whole concept was, we want everybody to be comfortable. Okay. Um, and we're very diverse, so it it doesn't matter mm-hmm. what you got. Yeah, when yeah. you walk in, we can we address got you. it. We got you. Yeah. We got you. Um, so we even are more complex. Like, even if you have straight hair and you mm-hmm. want it to be curly, we okay. can do that. If you have curly hair and you want to straighten it, yeah. we can do that. Okay. If you have curly hair and you don't like it and you don't understand how to work with it, uh-huh. then we have an educational component where we teach you okay. how to get the best out of whatever, you know, you were yeah. born with from God. So you can, can you change that? Like, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh, we, okay. our main focus it's, is detoxing. So detox, how does yeah. that, I don't get <laughs> that one. Like, hold on. <laughs> like, wait, hold on. We just went down another road <laughs> so here. That, so. That's our specialty <laughs> item. Okay. And that's where, um, we have people from all over travel for yeah. the service. So what we do is essentially, uh, the detox is a lower form than chelating the hair. Mm-hmm. We strip it all the way down to okay. back to the original state of the hair. Oh gosh. We take everything okay, off of it. It sounds intense. It's very intense. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a, it? um, a long appointment. Okay. So we strip you all the way down till we get back to your bare hair. And it's based off of your history, what you've been doing, okay. how we got to get you back to reset. Then we okay. build you back up with all organic, natural, vegan, botanical-based products. Okay. So we reset you to put you on a, a vegan, organic yeah. um, path. Okay. And so we train the whole thing about it, um, and it's just re-teaching the mindset. Yeah. Uh, We're taught to do leave-in conditioners, leave your conditioner in your hair, shampoo your hair with your conditioners, and it's actually blocking true hydration from getting to your hair, which is water. Okay. So you think about oil and water will not mix. Yeah, yeah. So if you're putting a bunch of leave-in conditioners and things in your hair, Mm -hmm. the water can't get in it. Uh, I gotcha. Okay. And so we have to reset your hair. Yeah. Sorry, to yeah. make it where it will receive the water. Yeah. Okay. So okay. it's nothing magical. We just change the mindset, and then that in turn you get a bigger, fluffier, shiny, more okay. hydrated, resilient curl. Okay. And <laughs> learn something new every day. <laughs> what? No, so like our whole mm, philosophy detox the hair. is we want you to love what you were born with. Okay. I got gotcha. you. And if you want to change it, then yes, but yeah. embrace how you know what God gave you. I got gotcha. you. Yes. Very cool. Okay. Yes. So is, is that where you're doing your styling too? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do that. I do yeah. that whole process. Yeah. Um, but even in that, you know, we we do have those who are becoming a little more mature okay. in their age and mm-hmm. with nice that so nicely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and well with said. that you know your <laughs> hair it changes um, yeah, yeah. it start medicines start thinning you out and things like that yeah. so that's what sets us apart because yeah. we it's not that we're in your business we just need to know what's happening so we know how to treat Okay. Your hair. Yeah. And so in the midst of all of that, we also have those machines that I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, yeah. We have the uh, red light therapy machines, mm-hmm. which most people know those from going to um, Planet Fitness okay. and having yeah. the full red light. Mm-hmm. And then Restore has them. Yep. Okay. The business restore has them, but we also have them for your hair. Yeah. So as long as you have not been diagnosed with permanent alopecia, mm-hmm. then we have packages where you can come sit up under our, our yeah. red light chromo machine mm-hmm. and it will literally grow your hair back. So how does that work? Does the light just stimulate the follicles? It does. does. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What it, it's oh. a LED and a laser combination mm-hmm. that we have. Um, they actually came from Czech. Glossophobia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one so, of those countries. Yeah, so that, that yeah, they mailed it yeah. to China and that's the machine she had to get here. So okay. what it uh, does, gotcha. okay. the beam goes down into the follicle and mm-hmm. speaks to the blood, which okay. tells the blood to come up and feed mm-hmm. the follicle, which okay. the hair grows out of. Okay, okay. And so uh, it has ozone mm-hmm. capacity and other things to try to help kill the DHT, which yep. is mm-hmm. what 
is causing the hair loss. Yep. And so I've if, learned about that myself. Yeah, if so, you yeah. have a follicle, it's still there, and then we do high frequency mm-hmm. to for, it's okay. like electrocuting a follicle as well to supercharge that blood to come yeah. up and feed. Okay. So okay. the package is like we get you jump started mm-hmm. to get the hair, you know, past the skin. Yeah. And then you can just come and do like maintenance visits. But okay. We have huge success. So it's yeah. nothing mm-hmm. that you have to digest or put mm-hmm. on topically. Yeah. It's just using beams of light. And as you can see, now you see that red light everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's not yeah. a yeah. new concept, but it's just one now that we're focused on. So it's almost okay. a natural. It's, it's a healer. Mm-hmm. So when you get facials or you had, I like even put my shoulder up mm-hmm. in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because um, it's going to heal and stimulate collagen. Yeah. And I put my face in it as well. Yeah. I, because um, when you get facials, that's what they're doing as okay. well. Yeah. So it's, it restores. So I actually forgot that's one of our companies that yeah. we do. <laughs> we grow hair. <laughs> yeah. That's so number we're all seven into or eight health. now. Yeah. I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're serious about uh, hair care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and not just putting a color on you. Yeah. We, just, we want you to be your best yeah. in your natural state. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. there's a lot to be said for, I mean, all kidding aside, like, as little hair as I have left, you know, like even I have bad hair days, and there's yeah, days oh, yeah. like it'll sure. mess with your head, and oh, you're like, yeah. ah. true psyche. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I learned about you know what the ladies up front, you know, like my hair's off today. I'm like, you look great. They're like, no, I don't. God. <laughs> yeah, I you, hope they don't yeah, hear this. You don't but, feel yeah. pretty the rest of the day. Yeah, no, yeah, just yes. mess with you. So I know I have days. I'm like, screw it. I'm gonna just shave my head. Yes. All the men in my family went. I am. A little older than thirty, but yeah, uh, um, all the men in my family went bald at thirty. So, oh, so okay. like all my brothers and my dad and everything. So they're like, just shit. I'm like, no, I'm holding on to the last little bit that I got. Hey, I, if you ever have twenty come sit minutes, under the red yeah. light. I love the experiment. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool to give it a if, shot. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. You can do it for yeah. a month just to really? see. Like, do you feel it at all? Like, is uh, it, sometimes uh, it like when you're under the red light, you yeah. don't feel anything. You'll okay, feel yeah, a yeah. warm sensation. Okay. Um, but sometimes people, once the hair is trying to bust through the skin, oh, really? they'll feel like it's itchy or mm-hmm. it may have a sensation of being a little bit sore. Okay. And that's because okay. it's just, you know, trying to yeah. grow through the skin. Oh, okay. So the outside of that, you feel nothing. But we have yeah. a lot a lot of before and after pictures mm. to show people. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because it, it's almost like an info commercial, like, oh, we can grow your hair. Yeah. And so, uh, no, we have the data to show yeah, yeah. that it's effective. Yeah, that's cool. And without and so surgery, you, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, even better. Yeah. You know, I've, and if I've you known are people that have gone through that. Struggling with yeah. that, the the beauty is to capture it mm-hmm. while you still have it. So okay. historically, if it runs in your family mm-hmm. and you know that's coming your way, yeah. you want to slow that down and sustain that follicle. Okay, gotcha. and keep it healthy so that way it doesn't um, it doesn't become so aggressive. Yeah, it's falling out. Okay. So it, don't they say it's uh look was it look at your mom's dad or something yes. like that? Okay. Yes. See my it's mom. On the mother side. Okay, because my mom's dad, I mean he he's no longer with us, but he passed and had I mean full head of hair. Okay. I mean thick yeah. hair and everything. I was like, this is not fair. What did it pa- did it skip <laughs> it on passed. me or something? Like <laughs> skip I'm the, the generation, right? And I'm the last of five kids, so I'm the baby of the group. But okay. I'm like, it must have was like okay, okay, okay. No, nope, screw you. Yeah, we ain't yeah. doing this. Like, <laughs> Like, fine. Right. But yeah, Mother Nature didn't like me, I guess. But dang, okay, cool. All right, so we got well, that. We can and then, assist you with it. Hey, there you go. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you do the, because well, I saw a picture, I think you sent me. It was the, the coloring of the hair. You do something special, I think, if somebody did want their hair colored. Yes, we, was, we do mm-hmm. all color techniques. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because you had sent me something specific. Yeah, about, I did, where yeah. we had done uh, what we call high fashion color. Okay. That's okay. when you get into, like, your purples and your blues. I like the purples, though. Yeah. I, I like purple. But, uh, well, it, it was it was very dark purple. Like, yes. it, it looked very well mm-hmm. done. And so, like, that yeah. looks kind of neat. So Yeah. Or what's that new, like, people do the silver? Some of the yeah, that's right. It's the rage. It, yeah, it, it some people right. can really pull it off, though. Yeah. Like, holy cow, it yeah. looks really good. Just, so. Yeah, some people can, some people are not. A good <laughs> <candidate> for, well, <laughs> some people, no. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, as a hairdresser, uh, yeah. you know, our clients depend on our feedback. Oh, yeah, okay. On, you know, mm-hmm. as, especially mm-hmm. as Michelle's saying, as we're aging, yeah. um, and I don't know what your age is, but <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I've turned to the older lady trying too hard. <laughs> 
Because, <laughs> you know, you just want to stay youthful. Yeah, I got you. And so, you know, it's up to us to be like, hey, this gray or silver is yeah. probably going to age you. Okay. Or can you pull it off and it be high fashion? Okay, got and it. So, yes, uh, hopefully the hairdressers out there are yeah. coaching the clients the yeah. right way. Because there's actually a, a lady, uh, you have to excuse me, I can't remember her name, but she she goes to the F45 Fitness right behind you. Oh, okay. And she's got like 100,000 followers or something on Instagram, big following, but it's all because of her hair. And she, oh, wow. But hers did it naturally, mm -hmm. and she looks great. Yeah. And she just puts it out there and was like, hey, this is me, you know, but like her Instagram following went through the roof and yes. people love that look. Yes. But I'll show you when we're done if you want to see. Yes. But uh, but yeah, she goes to F45 Fitness right behind you. So maybe yeah, a lot of people day. trying to get her look. Yes. Yeah, exactly. She's like, I got it natural. Uh -huh. yeah, right. <laughs> I'm in style. Yeah. Do you, you ever have a client come in that like, I want the rainbow, you know, or like something? Yes. That, do they really? Um, so what I decided because I think as a stylist you almost have to understand what your brand is and your strength because in cosmetology school we're okay. taught yes. everything yep. from nails everything skin yeah, yeah. um and so that's why I kind of parked my brand into the curl movement okay and the natural but yeah clients will come in all the time and and I hope this is not negative but I decided for my brand that that was not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Because when you see those beautiful fashion colors, uh -huh. you literally have to remove everything out of the hair that makes hair. Really? Yes. So it's lightened what? probably two or three different times. You oh. almost have to get it in our world. It's called like a level 10 or 11. Okay. And so in order for you to see that pigment very pure, you've yeah. got to remove the artificial, I mean, the real pigment oh, out of the hair. I get what you're saying. And okay. so it's great. It's fun. And um, it's a few stylists in town that can do it well. Yeah. Shout out level 13. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, all send right. all of them to them. Yeah. Um, but it's like what's left, the integrity can sometimes be compromised. Really? It sounds like, okay, again, excuse me, I don't know much about it. No, but no. It sounds like you're in essence almost killing the hair at that point. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So that's why sometimes, okay. that's why you have to appreciate the uh, color uh, technician when you see one that's healthy and it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, one that was very expensive, took a lot of time, yeah, yeah. and those colors are not long-lasting okay. because, you know, the follicle is yeah, open yeah. and, you know, it fades. So yeah. they're kind of high maintenance. <clears throat> I got so you. So I just like, oof. Okay. If you don't do yeah. it well, then don't do it. Then don't do it. Yeah, so right. I was just Point like, and be yeah. honest in yeah, yeah. Right. Be honest. Be yeah. honest this is not where my you are. Uh, specialty. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, so, uh, we can if we have to, but okay. we prefer not to. Uh, pre oh, okay. <laughs> hey, no, that's it's nothing not wrong with that at all. my strength. So, yeah, I got you. Well, what's your strength? Well, I'm just curious. Um, <laughs> customer service. Yeah. Oh, they, hey, actually, yeah. that goes a long way. Yeah, <laughs> like, that that's a that's a personal mantra of mine. Yeah. Um, I just believe everyone that comes into my space yeah. should leave better w than when they were. Amen when they came. to that. Yeah. So I do <laughs> make it my business to make sure yeah. that everyone that enters the Curl Theory Salon, mm -hmm. whether you're yeah. scheduled with Susan or not, yeah. you're still a customer in that mm -hmm. salon. Mm -hmm. And so I try to make sure that everybody is welcomed. Yeah. Now, I do have that side to where, you know, I have to. Uh, Kind of yes. get a little aggressive, a little but all at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> I try to do it in love. <laughs> I do it in love. <laughs> try to do it in love, but customer <laughs> service is definitely, yeah. definitely yeah. my strong suit. That's, that's, yeah. like, I love you. I'm telling you, but I'm about to smack you. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, the like, no of her is, yeah. um, we still have it where people can call and talk to us. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, very rare. Mm -hmm. And so if I did not have Michelle, I couldn't provide that level of you can talk to a human. I got you. And yeah. so it's definitely 100% of our business mm -hmm. um, is putting the customer first. That's yeah. awesome. And giving them the best we have yeah. to offer. Well, it sounds like you're the best one for it right oh, there. Yeah. So to tolerate me. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> tolerate you. I'm at this point, you know, my pastor teaches us to be confident in who you are. So yeah. I'm humbly confident in the fact that when you call me for yeah. that, I am the best person hey, there you for go. the job, you hey. know, and, and it's sometimes I do have to catch myself because I have to remember it's not 
it's not personal when people are like, yes. oh, I can't afford that. Or yeah. why is it that much? You yeah. know, yeah. I have to, you know, just kind of, okay, this is a customer service moment. Yep, yep. Let me educate them yeah. on why yeah. the price is what it is. Oh, yeah. So you better understand as yeah. a future customer or you just may better understand as a human period okay, this is a person that's just not picking up scissors, cutting my hair. Yeah. Can we talk about They're the They're very pricing? intentional. Yeah, no, go ahead. Is yeah. Okay? Yeah, have okay. at it. Talk about what you so want. So when you call the salon, mm -hmm. I'm expensive. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? It's there's, high. But, <laughs> but there's to be said for, for one, you've obviously, you've been doing it a while. Yes. You know what you're doing. I mean, you, you're speaking through all this education here. You, right. Again, you know what you're doing again, you know, on that. But yeah, I, and yeah, and plus the cost of products and yes. the time involved and everything. So, so yeah. when you're a curl specialist, yes, um, I'm a diva curl certified, and so you have to go to New York to get those certifications. Oh, dang! Okay, and it's only a few of us in Tennessee. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And at the level uh, that I'm at, it's very few of us in no Tennessee. Kidding. And then I'm also a Cut It Kinky uh, educator. So I'm yeah. triple uh, educated. I'm probably the most. You're the most educated. educated <laughs> stylist. You're a hidden gem in the yeah. stylist world over here. It sounds like. So, hey, yeah. Like here in Murfreesboro. When people are like, whoa, it's that much for a haircut. But when you get a curly cut, you don't mm. have to have them as frequent. Yeah. So it's actually less money mm -hmm. because I'm cutting your hair where yeah. it naturally lives. So you don't yeah. have to come back all the time. Yep, I got you. And so a lot of people are thrown back when they see, whoa, this is like triple yeah. what a traditional cut. But mm -hmm. I will do traditional haircuts uh -huh. because I've only been a curl specialist maybe five or six years. So okay. It's okay. new to my 35-year career. Gotcha. Um, but because I was just like, oh, I'm a teacher. I used to run a school. There's mm -hmm. nothing else you can teach me about hair yeah. until I took my class. And then that's when I was like, yeah. whoa. You're like, wait a sec. <laughs> wait a second. This is yeah. a whole different animal. And that's Dang. when I realized it was a huge need. And then even when you have coarser curly hair, that's a whole nother oh, spectrum. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a okay. lot. <laughs> yeah. Dang. So please, please understand <laughs> yeah. the price is the price. Oh, yeah. that's, that's the, uh, <laughs> the price is the, the price. price. Is the price. You know, it, it, it is what it is. And it goes back to uh, uh, just, I, I feel like in our arena, we've lost some of um, the respect. Mm -hmm. And so in my mind, it's like, I, you're going to put respect on this. I got it. You know, yep. because, and I and I do. Some people, yep. I take the time. And it's like, okay, well, this is why the haircut is this much. Yeah, I will explain, and it's like, oh, I understand, but that's still, mm -hmm. you know. Right. And it's like, well, we understand that we're not a good fit. Yeah, and that's something that I'm having to learn that everybody is just not a good fit yep. for what you. we're offering. Yeah, but it's also mm -hmm. a, a level for me to bring that respect back yeah. into the the beauty, the beauty industry yeah. mm -hmm. because. We are integral. Yeah. We're all about having great character. We're all about making sure that the hair that you do have, you mm -hmm. keep it for as long as you can. Yeah. So we're just not, you know, hairstylists out here just doing whatever. Yeah. 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 You know. Well, do, do you think maybe it's just like you were saying, the educational side people don't know? Because you see so much out there like, oh, yeah, hey, sure. the $10 haircut and yes. stuff like that, which is, you know, sports clips or something. Absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. But that's not what you do. Yeah. So, right. Okay. So I'm, right. I'm considered a specialist. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. um, but we we want to make sure, uh, even if you if the price is out of your budget, uh -huh. like I have friends, their level may not be as high as mine, but we can refer yeah. them out. Yeah. So, yeah, we're not just like, oh, no. Just call you the hair doctor. The hair doctor. <laughs> well, see, you got like, you know, your walk-in clinic, you got yeah. your general practitioner. Oh, we got referred over here. Oh, wait, no, you need a specialist. You need a specialist. <laughs> That's what y'all are over here. You're on this side. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are the specialist. That's, okay, cool. Yes. All right. So, well, um, if you don't mind, I want to do yes. one more before I know. I know. I'm, we, we oh, no, we're doing, we're doing great. We're doing great. We can go as long as you want. But, uh, but I want to be respectful of your time. I know you're yes. very busy. But um, the, the Paul Mitchell School. That yes. You, so yes. how did you end up getting involved with that and getting to here? How'd that work? Okay. Well, you know, this may be my only time to 
tell it out <laughs> yes. loud. Oh, oh, we don't have to if you don't no, want to. No, oh, okay. it's fine. Okay. Uh, so I used to work for Paul Mitchell. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I was a national educator. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> surprise, I was work- surprise. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was working, I'll make this story short. No, I was working good. a show in Vegas and I seen a group of people that were killing it. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is when we were in our 5,000 square foot building. Yeah. Yeah. And I was okay. like, I need good workers. Yeah. And they were like, oh, it's a school. Yeah. And I was like, what? So I was like, who do I know rich enough to bring a school to Tennessee? I called my partners. Boom, boom, boom. So we brought Paul Mitchell School wow. here. Wow, okay. To, Very uh, cool. Tennessee. So we, That's awesome. Yeah, so we have a school uh, in Murfreesboro. We mm-hmm. have a school in Nashville. And we have a school in Knoxville. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the list I, just goes on yeah. and on. So and on. <laughs> I, I was um, my partner, Dale Jones, um, he was the director at, when we first brought the school here, and I was the sales leader, and then I became the director, and then I opened the Murfreesboro campus, okay. and then I helped the Knoxville campus, and then we had one in Louisville nice. and Roanoke. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I love education, yeah. so I came from that. and so Very cool. Yeah. I'm just a creator. Yeah. yeah. I was waiting for you to come out and say, like, you were an Olympic snowboarder or <laughs> something. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love to learn. I'm a life learner, yeah. so mm-hmm. I take education very serious. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, always better than myself. Who was – there was a, a quote I loved. It was – you have to excuse me, I don't remember who said it, but it was like, the day you stop learning is the day you start dying. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was like, yes. that's – yeah, yeah, you know, yes. that's – anyways. So it sounds yeah. like, well, you're going to live forever. Yeah, you. Right. <laughs> that's and, awesome. And, you know, Paul Mitchell is such a great concept because mm-hmm. we, we send a lot of our clients there. Yeah, yeah. Because it's very budget-friendly. We mm-hmm. use yes. all professional products. Yeah. And we have a, a skin department that uses all Dermalogica. Okay. Waxing, microblading, all yeah. that can happen at the school. So it's a, it's a great resource if you're on a budget. Mm-hmm. And you can still get a professional service with professional product. Nice. And we're teaching the same mm-hmm. at the same time. So okay. it's a win-win for everybody. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. Well, dang. Well, dang. this was awesome. I really enjoyed this one. I learned a lot. Thank you. I could keep going and going and going, but I know you you have like nine businesses you have yeah. to go to. So. But, no, I just thank you, John, no. for even having us on. Oh, no. Yes. Heck yeah. This was like, great. Fun. We need to have you back on. You're keep the going. Guy, like. This needs to be, we need to have a part two to this. Part this is two. fun. So. Yes. You know, we should get more people and do like a round table. Yeah, a round table. That would be yes. fun. So. Yes. But uh, is there anything y'all want to throw out here at the end, real quick? You got the floor is yours. You want to. You got anything um, going on you want people to know about? or? Um, I think for me, um, what I want everybody to know is uh, I want to do my best. Mm-hmm. I want to service you my best. Uh-huh. I may not always do the best, <laughs> okay. but I am striving to yeah. be the best yep. version of Susan right now. That's awesome. Hey, that's all you can do. That's <laughs> yes. fantastic. Yeah. Well, for me, um, it's all about living life with no okay. regrets. Oh, very cool. Um, and... And I'm at a point now where I'm carrying the life, the lesson, and the legacies of my dad. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to okay. do my best to carry that the best way I can. Um, yeah. And just in case, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. That's oh, right. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Plug. Have at it. Shameless plug. No, go for it. Please. <laughs> so awesome. if you do not have an idea of what you want to get mom, just come to 1520 Memorial Boulevard right here, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Suite 102, and we have gift cards for you. There you go. For mom, like, you can you can specialize it, customize it any way you want mm-hmm. to. Yeah. But we do have, like, the ultimate gift certificate, oh. which you get hair care service, you get a uh, hour massage, and you get a hot lunch. Yes. Uh, a lunch included? Yeah. 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 with yes. uh, the businesses that were next yeah, to yeah. the Hungry Spot and the massage. Very cool. The massage was the best I ever had. Oh, was it? Hey, sh- all right, cool. Yeah. Well, Shout out yeah. to them. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. So, yes. I forgot all about that. So, yeah. we're we're really focusing on yeah. Mother's Day. Dang. Okay, Show cool. some love and beauty. Yeah, well, we'll... Um, let me know about that. We'll make another post about yeah, that. That's yeah. really cool. As soon so, as we get it um, completed. Yep, totally. I know I tell you that all the time. But yeah. Oh, you're good. You're totally <laughs> yeah. good. It's like, as soon as I get this done. <laughs> well, so, you know, it's funny now. I know because you all are so busy. <laughs> yeah. like, it's, now I feel well, bad. Well, we're but, trying to become lasers. So we're okay. kind of yeah, bringing yeah. it in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm well, trying to become Sounds like you're doing that. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So which wait, hold on. Which one do you want to laser in on? Um, I'm just curious. 
Dun, dun, dun. I don't know yet. Okay, okay. I'll come back for my part two. Okay. Well, you're, you're just, what do they call it? Trimming the fat right now? Trimming yeah. the fat. Is that what it is? You know, okay. let me say this, and I'm, I'm sure you're there all the time. Mm. When you're grinding and hustling way more than me, Shoot. but a lot of times we, we have to get still because mm-hmm. there's so much going on. Yes. You're hearing all these voices, all these ideas and suggestions are coming at you so fast. Yep. And you're like, oh, God sent this to me. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing this. Yep. Yep. And as a leader, mm-hmm. sometimes you got to quiet down, yep. isolate yourself, and yep. see where your focus needs to be. Like, what is God speaking in our next steps? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just because all these opportunities are coming. So, as a leader right now, I need to be still mm-hmm. and I had to go into prayer yeah. um, to see where my okay. energy and focus needs to be. Nice. So, yes, I'd like to come back for part two to see. No, us. that'd be awesome. <laughs> see where we land. No, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> where we land. No, like, yeah. Uh, no, that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah Please because, come back. You know, Y'all are so fun. It's important when you're a leader because so many bad negative things come to you to suck your energy distract you kill your joy where you can't see or hear yeah and it's important to be with you and Mm -hmm. see because when i see you i was like oh my god he's all over the place (laughs) and you you look like on the outside like you had the capacity but i know when you're a leader no that's not real it, like how we see you, and I think it's that's important so, yeah. to be transparent. Like, no, everything's falling apart. <laughs> you know what? That I'm is so out. true. It's you not a God. safe place for us to go yeah. to cry. Yeah, and like I'm struggling. I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know what. I'm Stay supposed tuned to be for doing. the next. <laughs> right, Hold on. you're coming back tomorrow. That's We're gonna continue this. <laughs> so right. Yeah. Is, this is. Oh, I think we should create a space, and it, it's therapeutic for me to be able to say it yeah. out loud and. Be be transparent yeah. like i don't know yep i don't know i'm just being still and quiet yeah, yeah. you know that i'm really glad you said that because yeah you're right that is true and I, mean, I i view other people like that too and then when you get to talk to them they're like oh god today was just horrible <laughs> and like you're like i yeah. thought you were living high over here yeah. or something they're like oh god no the world about fell apart today so like, it goes <laughs> it goes true to say that everything you see on social media is not what you see oh yeah yeah you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah it, yeah, to be a great leader, mm-hmm. you're going to you're going to have those sacrificial moments yeah. mm-hmm. of time and energy, thoughts. Yep. You know, sometimes your family may not understand right. where you are, what you're doing, or what you're thinking, and you, and there are going to be times when you can't even share that. Yeah, and you have to be okay with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, as Susan was saying, you also got to find that space, that yeah. person or persons yep. that you know we call it finding your tribe. That oh, you yeah, can yeah. sit and say. That's what they say up front. That's hey, really funny. Yeah. I'm not good over here. Yeah. You good. know, and and to be <laughs> honest, you know, it, the curl theory yeah. <laughs> has become that for so many yeah. people. And we don't, we're just not about women. Yeah. Like we have a, quite a deal of oh, male sure. clients mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. as well. Oh, so, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, not only are we hairstylists, we're, you know, we become friends with people yeah. where psychologists, psychiatrists, right. doctors, nurses, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's awesome. All, yeah. all of that. I love it. So, so yeah. yeah, part two. No, we, we all come back. This is fun. Yeah, yeah, I had absolutely. a blast with you all. This is fun. Yeah. I learned a lot. Too. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> No, but maybe we can have a session. We you know talk about more about what you just brought up yes. or something because that, yeah. that is very true. You know, yeah, know what true. you said on social media. My gosh, so yeah, yeah, cool. Well, well, thank you all for coming on. Yeah, appreciate thank it. you. Sorry for holding you for so long. No, but, this is fun. It's been it's amazing. Awesome. It's my first podcast. I was nervous. Oh, you I knocked it out of like, the park. Oh yeah, they're gonna videotape. I thought I was just talking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Well, you knocked it out of the park, that's for but sure. Thank so. you so much for your time. Oh, yeah. No, thank you all. Thank okay. you. And uh, for everybody watching and listening, uh, I'm going to put all your info in the description okay. of everything. So if they want more information, they can go to your website. They can contact you directly, yes. all that sort of stuff. So, mm-hmm. um, But, yeah, I'll end it on that note so you can get back to work. Okay. <laughs> but, but for everybody tuning in, thanks as always. Appreciate it. See you on the next one.